Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can easily create Power Query functions. So I've built Power Query functions before by editing the M code, but there's actually a very easy way to create functions. So over here in the queries list, you can actually right click on a query and there's an option here to create a function based on that query. So I've already built a query here that's just pulling results from a Wikipedia page. So here's the Wikipedia page. It's a UFC event results page. And I'm just pulling the data from this results table here. And then also applying a few transformations to clean up the data a little bit. And so let's turn this into a query function that takes in a URL as a parameter. So the first thing we need to do is create a parameter. So up in the home tab, let's go to manage parameters and let's create a new parameter. And we're going to call this one URL. And it's going to be a text parameter and we can have any value. And let's also just give it this current value here. Let's copy and paste that URL and paste it in there. And here's our parameter. Let's go back to our query. And then what we're going to do is go up to the source step. And that's where we're pulling in that web page. So you can see the value right here and it's hard coded into the query. What we're going to do is replace that with our new parameter, which was called URL. And let's hit the check mark there and accept that. And we should have the same results because we were pulling in the same URL. And now with that parameter set in our query, what we can do is let's right click on our query and go to create function. And let's just give this a function name of get results and hit okay. And now you can see that what we get is this folder here with a couple things. So we have our query and we have our parameter that that query is based on and we have the function. And the cool thing about this method is that if you edit the query here, then that's going to edit the function for you. So the function is dynamically linked to the query. And now why would you want to create a function query? Well, you can use that to uh, pull results for multiple URLs now. So here I've got a table that I've imported into Power Query and it has a couple URLs for similar events. And now I can add a column and we can invoke a custom function. And let's call this results. And we'll use our newly created function here. And the parameter that we're gonna pass it is this URL column. And notice we've only got the one option because our table only has one column. Let's press OK. And what we get is a table. So that's the table of the results for each of those URLs. And we just need to expand those out now. And there we go. We have all the results for those five URLs now. And we can close and load this. And we now have our results for all the pages that we had in our table here. So that's how you can quickly create a query function. There's actually an option in the query pane if you right click. So we just need to create a parameter and then right click on our function in the query pane and use the create function option. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. 
That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.